All right, this will be a VRAM test. And what this test is designed to uh, demonstrate is how when a GPU uh, or when a scene requires more memory, more v VRAM than what the GPU has, it will drastically slow down the rendering process. I created a scene and this scene takes uh, roughly between 9 and 10 gigabytes worth of uh, VRAM. I have an RTX 3060 which is a less powerful card but it has 12 gigabytes of VRAM and I have an RTX 3070 which is a more powerful GPU but only has 8 gigabytes of VRAM. So if my theory is correct the 3060 will perform significantly better than the 3070 even though the 3070 is more powerful because of the latency involved in constantly swip, swapping memory out between the GPU's VRAM and the computer's system memory. Alright, I created a test scene, VRAM test scene, and once it loads, let me change this one over to the 3060 and essentially this one right here is on the 3060 this one's on the 3070 and this right here shows the memory usage and so forth now I can't quite figure out why it does this but and I've I've created or opened all this stuff up a couple times but the moment I open it all up for some reason the 3070 shows nearly 4 gigabytes of VRAM being used but the uh, 3060 doesn't. I don't know, I don't have a clue why it's showing that. But anyway, if, and I've actually restarted the computer too between putting all this together just to see, but I could actually let me see here. Let me go ahead and uh, click render on this one. And all this scene is, it's just a whole bunch of starships. It's like uh, something like 1,600 of them, maybe 1,700 of them. Now it will take a while to actually build the scene or prepare the scene because the object is being duplicated many times but that shouldn't affect uh, the outcome because it's going to take just as long to build the scene for both of them being that that's being done essentially with the CPU. And I'm not going to fast forward through any part of this. Alright, it's, it's essentially built it. And you can watch down here when it starts to transfer the, uh, the scene into the GPU. See it climbing really, really fast. It's already up to 5 gig and it's updating other portions of the scene and then this is going to jump up to about 9 or 10 I'm suspecting. Alright, yeah, 9.8 gigabytes. But once it actually loads it and prepares the scene, the rendering happens pretty quickly. Granted, I'm, I only have it set to 128 samples. And but you you figure it's something like a minute and forty five seconds was used just preparing the scene, and then the rest of it was used for rendering. 
Now let's see how that is affected with the 3070 that only has 8 gigabytes of VRAM. Render image. Now I kind of suspect this VRAM will just kind of drop out to nothing and then build back up. But I'm not 100% sure. I still have no idea why the VRAM on that one's showing so high because there's it's this GPU isn't even connected to monitors. It's just in the computer. That's it. And nothing else is using this except Blender because uh, I don't have anything else open other than the screen capture and the screen capture is using the CPU instead. So I'm not 100% sure. But I'm predicting that whenever this actually starts rendering if it actually starts rendering it will render extremely slow and that's because the GPU is constantly having to swap uh, data in and out of the uh, GPU memory and the system memory because the GPU doesn't have enough VRAM and that latency is going to cause it to really slow down <coughs> and of course this uh, 3060 over here it is actually running three displays two 1080p displays and one uh, 1440p display the 1440p display is the one we're on right now and it's running all of them at 120 hertz All right, we're up to 5.8, 5 5.9, 5 7.2. It, all right, it's uh, realized that it can't fit it all in there. So it's settled on keeping 6.5 gig in VRAM, and the rest of it's being swapped in and out of uh, um, system memory. And you can see how much slower it is now. Let me maximize this. See the sample count, it's only up to 17 so far. And see it jumped up to 29, but you can see how much slower it's doing it. It's already uh, has taken 2 minutes and 38 seconds which is longer than the 20 uh, pardon me than the 3060 now this is the interesting uh, part if you look at the uh, I think I have it in here um, apparently not I don't have I was thinking about the um, PCI bandwidth I don't think I don't think that's in here. Bus interface, that's the one I'm looking for. Now you can see that the bus interface, which is um, actually on this GPU, it's uh, eight lanes, but at four. PCI 4.0 speeds it's basically utilizing 35 percent of that bandwidth which is huge this one over here while it's rendering it's going to be like one percent that's because it's not constantly swapping in and out data I mean we're already up to almost a little over four minutes and it's still showing 55 seconds left but whenever I get done with this I'll put in something simple something that doesn't require more than 8 gigabytes of VRAM that way I can show you that the 3070 is in fact quite a bit faster than the 3060 now sometimes if the amount of VRAM uh, or the amount of memory that the scene uses is way over what the amount of VRAM that the GPU has it will absolutely refuse to even try to render 
I don't know what that threshold is. I've never experimented with it to try to figure it out. All right, four minutes and 52 seconds for a 3070 versus two minutes and nine seconds for the um, uh, 3060. All right, now let's put in the BMW. All right, let's uh, bring up preferences, make sure that we're still using the correct GPUs. And I have it set to CUDA because uh, uh, when it came to like high memory uh, rendering, especially over using more memory than what the GPU has, optics is very um, uh, susceptible to crashing so it's a little bit more stable in CUDA in situations like that but that's really the only situation I would I for the most part use CUDA all right now we'll do this both this scene is 3060 and this is the 3070 and both of them are set to CUDA Ren render image and um, I don't really remember what the 3060 will do it in in CUDA but we'll see that's still not bad I remember uh, rendering this scene like four years maybe five years ago and it taken uh, my laptop like 45 minutes. Um, so you're talking 32 seconds to render this with the 3060 in CUDA. Let's see what the 3070 will do. All right, took 20 seconds. So this is what I was talking about. The 3070 is clearly uh, significantly more powerful than the 3060. Uh, but with the other scene, because of how much VRAM, the 3060 was significantly quicker than the uh, 3070. I hope that clears up any and any questions people have in regards to VRAM. If you have any more questions, and if it's something that I think I understand the answer to, I will uh, try to answer your question in the comment section. And if I don't know, I will simply say I don't know, because this stuff like this where you're talking about VRAM and latency, that's getting outside my wheelhouse as far as my knowledge set. I just sort of understand it, understand it enough to, you know, kind of grasp it, I guess I could say. But I guess that's it. Later, people.